It goes without saying, and this is something that you know as painfully as myself, that we live in a highly polarized world where hate speech and disinformation has become the norm. And in this reality, in midst of this reality, is where you try as much as you can to report in a neutral, impartial manner. And you are paying a price. We all know the sad truth around the fatalities amongst journalists in 2023 peaking. And we have records in terms of fatalities only in the first nine months. And of course, Gaza is no exception with more than 50 journalists paying with their price. So it's a difficult and convoluted world we live in. And in this, we all look to you when we ask our, ourselves the question, where is the truth? What is the truth? Whenever we look for a credible source of information, at the end of the day, we look at journalists and journalism. Colleagues, I myself come from a humanitarian background. My background is in the humanitarian field. And we have four main principles that we adhere to. Humanity, impartiality, independence, and impartiality in particular gives us the main direction for our profession and for our work. It tells us the following. When we provide humanitarian assistance, we do that based on needs alone, making no distinction between genders, nationality, political affiliations, etc. It pushes you back to become neutral and impartial. And this is the common platform, I think, between us at the United Nations and you as journalists. The pushback to provide an impartial and neutral picture. And in these days, more difficult than ever. Colleagues and friends, we are very happy to be with you here today. And don't hesitate at any time to whenever needing that impartial and neutral information to seek out sources also at the United Nations, whether it's Office for Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs or UN Women for any data, statistics, and updated research, particularly related to women, women in conflict and women in non-conflict settings. We are engaging with you this uh, day through Montira and Ahmed, my colleagues uh, who are with you here today. And of course, I'm going to be with you in the coming hour and I will try to stay as long as I can. But before I leave, I want to end where I started. Yes, it's a complicated world. Yes, it's a convoluted and dangerous world. But colleagues and friends, we heavily, heavily rely on you in our seek for the truth. Thank you so much for listening.